So um, one of my favorite quotes in the book, if, if you'll let me, was in uh, relation to a football Super Bowl winner named Jason Carthen, I believe was the name. And you wrote, uh, when you have a, or maybe he said this, uh, when you have a toxic culture, that culture will either build a champion or hide a hero. Um, mm -hmm. Can you talk about that scenario and, and what that quote means to you? Well, what that means for me is, I think too often we tolerate the brilliant jerk, the, oh, that so and so but look they're getting all of these results mm -hmm. and what we're overlooking is the damaged relationships internally and externally mm -hmm. and over time in my experience this is where linda and i get invited to work with our clients so often mm -hmm. is that the ripple effect of that uh, brilliant jerk is that others start to role model it and mm. if you are working alongside a brilliant jerk, then we hesitate. We don't take information to them. We don't want to go and butt heads with them. And therefore, over time, the decision quality is impacted and therefore the business results are uh, impacted. So I think that quote really undermines why we need to focus on how business gets done, not just the what of business. Let's see. So another really interesting touch point too was uh, this notion of building supporters versus allies. You're right. We propose that the reason so many people dread work is because they are, they've avoided the important step of cultivating good relationships in the workplace. Now, this seems to be a key, one of the key sort of pillars in the book as well. And one that I never realized, I suppose, was so imperative, especially as a technologist, um, someone who could rely, fall back on that technology strength. Mm -hmm. Can you expand on that? Technology is only as good as the people who choose to adopt it or use it. Mm -hmm. And so this links back to my first book, Cultivate the Power of Winning Relationships. And certainly mm -hmm. in my banking career, that old phrase of it's not personal, it's just business got mm -hmm. trotted out far too many times. But the reality is that the world of work, whatever industry you're in, whether it's technology, whether it's healthcare, whether it's publishing, it's a people business. So relationships matter. Your success on Nerdstalker is down to the relationship that you build with your guests and to your listeners and followers mm -hmm. and if we aren't paying attention to that if we aren't nurturing that then it's a very lonely place but also success is limited so relationships really do matter business is personal